Good morning, everyone. Thank you for tuning in and welcome to STEM Clubs Week 2020, which celebrates and supports STEM related clubs, the people coordinating them, so the teachers, the technicians and the students taking part in them. The week focuses on the subject of sustainability, which is all about how we as humans can live and develop in the world without damaging the environment or using up its precious resources. For primary and secondary school students, we have a week long competition with prizes to be won, daily challenges and question and answer sessions with science professionals who work in the areas of sustainability that we're going to be looking at this week. For teachers and technicians, we've got webinars to help you get started running a STEM club and how to help your existing STEM club thrive. We also have a live webinar with practical action who develop lots of great sustainability themed activities for your club and a webinar with Isabel Thomas who is a science writer and children's author about eco-engineering clubs. We also have a talk from Jemima Gibbons about design clubs and a case study from two schools um, who won successful STEM clubs and won awards at our STEM Inspiration Awards last year. So today we'll be covering the subject of clean air, water and sanitation. Tomorrow we'll be talking about sustainable energy. Wednesday will all be about sustainable materials. Thursday will all be about sustainable food. And lastly, on Friday, we cover sustainable design and construction before we reveal our competition winners. So coming up, we'll be setting you the challenge of cleaning up an oil spill and we'd love to see your attempts on Twitter. So if you post a picture of what you've been doing, make sure you include the hashtag STEM Clubs Week so we can see them. Then at 10.30, for those STEM Club leaders who have registered for it, we have a live webinar with Ang Harrod Pass from Practical Action, who will be talking to you on Zoom about how to incorporate sustainability into your club activities. At 11.30, we hear from STEM Ambassador Nick who designs drainage systems. He'll be talking to us about his job and answering your questions both within his talk and live in the comments below on YouTube. So be online then to ask Nick your questions. This afternoon at two, we have another STEM ambassador, Frankie. She will be talking to you about her job, ensuring that new constructions do not cause air pollution. Tune in to have your questions answered by her. Also at two for STEM club leaders, we have a webinar with one of our STEM club champions about how to develop your STEM club to thrive. If you've registered for that, you should have had joining instructions emailed through to you. Lastly, at three today, also for STEM club leaders, we have a case study from the outstanding STEM club runner up at last year's STEM Inspiration Awards, Brookswood Science Club. So the competition. We are running a design competition across the week with prizes being awarded on the Friday. Your task is to think about a city or town near you and then see if you can design your own sustainable city. Your design should look at how people live and the things they do. Then look at how things could be done differently to try and avoid damaging the planet as much as possible. Helping to make our future cities and towns better for the environment and nicer places for people to live. We've highlighted a few areas for you to think about when you're creating your design. Clean air. So think about the things that pollute the air. Can you avoid or minimise these things? And can you do other things to try and keep the air clean? Clean water. How are you going to get clean water to your citizens? And where is this water going to come from? Sewage. How are you going to get sewage away from your citizens? And what are you going to do with this? Energy. How are you going to get power into your homes and businesses in your city? Think about whether this uses renewable or non-renewable energy. Does it pollute your city? Transport. Think about how you're going to move both people and goods around your city. Remember, transport does not necessarily mean motorised transport. There's lots of different ways of transporting things around. 
materials. So what materials are you going to need for the things that you're going to have in your city? So what are you going to use for your buildings, your roads, your bridges and all the different structures that you're going to have as part of your city? Green spaces and wildlife habitats. Will you make any space for wildlife in your city? Will you have any parks or woodlands? Will you leave any areas to just grow wild and leave it to nature? Lastly, waste. What are you going to do with all the rubbish that your households and your businesses produce? Don't forget to give your city a name. You can submit your entry as either a written description up to 500 words and this can include pictures if you like. So maybe you've drawn a picture or you've taken a photograph of something or you can just submit a picture. So maybe you've done a just done a drawing or a plan of your city or you've created a model of it on your computer and you just want to submit that rather than anything in a written form that's fine too so um, but if you've written something it must be a maximum of 500 words um, send your entries by email to us at stemclubs at stem.org.uk including your name and your age um, by midnight on Thursday the 25th of June, so that's Thursday this week, for a chance to win of the prizes you can see below. Very exciting. So there will be two winners and two runner-up prizes. By entering you agree for your entry to be shown on our YouTube channel as part of STEM Clubs Week, should it win or receive a runner-up prize. Entries will be judged in age categories on creativity, ingenuity and the extent to which they address the brief that we've just talked about. UK entries only I'm afraid and winners will be announced on YouTube this Friday as part of STEM Clubs Week and winners will be notified by email on Tuesday the 30th of June at latest. We're unfortunately unable to provi provide any feedback on entries. So to kickstart our clean air, water and sanitation day, I'm going to hand you over to my colleague Helen who needs your help mopping up an oil spill. Good luck and don't forget to share your attempts at all the challenges that we're starting every day with by tagging in hashtag STEM Clubs Week on Twitter. We're really looking forward to seeing them and good luck with the competition if you take part. Bye for now.